luck with that guy's tracks no not really I, this has been a tricky one it's been getting seems to be par for the course for us lately with these guys yeah we spent a lot of time last night following a couple of hogs and all right a lot of the problem is it's just so much brush and So many divots yep, well, and whatnot. Right straight, right straight down the river. I mean, right straight down the river. Just follow the bank. That group of bucks is down there. I can see them from here. 160 meters out from me. I could drop any one of them with the 30 out six right now. Wow, that is a big fella. I wish it would give me a pop up on him. I know that's the one so I, I was talking about. He's yeah, looks he's like at least 12 points or more. I couldn't tell, but yep. He is a big fella. Twelve feet. I've got his next track. But then it's like he disappeared. No. And it's his... Well, I'm not sure what to do, because like I say, I can see all four of these guys standing there just as plain as day. And this is one of those moments. Be very glad that we're good pals, because that one fella... I would take him right now without a moment's hesitation. So I bet you he'd be a personal best for me. I think he's closest to as good as that one that you took out of the tree stand that time. Dude, well, go ahead and do what you need to do. I mean, I, don't give that up because of me. Seriously. Well, I'm then gonna, if that's your if that that's is your opinion, where I stand. I'm going to find this <laughs> son of a bitch if it kills me. <laughs> well, then I'm going to take this big old son of a gun. But you better get a trophy shot. That's all I can tell you. Dropped him on the spot. God damn it, where did you go, you pain in the ass? <laughs> I, just... I think I probably missed the second one. I thought I'd see if I could hit another one while they were running, but... I'll have to come back over here to look for that wolf. But... I dropped him on the spot, but he went down in a low area, so I'm having a little trouble picking the mark. I guess I'll just have to... Mark the rough area and go over. Yeah. Well, I'm going to come back here to the last good track. And then I'm going to go the opposite direction of which he <laughs> said he went and see if that's the deal. Yeah. He's 161. So he was nowhere near what we thought he might have been. Mm-hmm. Beautiful shot, right in his right lung. At 134 meters. He looked a lot bigger than I, that to me. But. Yeah, yeah, I'd a, uh, I'd a uh, sure figured that he was going to come in bigger than that, but that's also kind of traditional for us to be surprised. Their uh, other ratings. Not good. Come right down here to the edge and see, and she's either going to run or she's going to charge, one or the other. I'm kind of thinking I've lost that mule deer. I just cannot find it. I have crisscrossed and crossed and crisscrossed again, and she's going to charge me. Oh, she stood up. Yeah. Oh, she ran. I think it's too deep for their, for her there. Come at me. Which 
doesn't break my heart. There that other goes. one's crossing down near you. I'm coming down the river bank. We'll see if he spots me or not. But if if we can get back to the last good track you had, I'll help you. We'll see if we can find him. Yeah, I just I'm starting to think it's a lost cause, but I've still got it. I mean, it's still on well, my hunter's mate. I was just trying to see where that grizzly was that you said was heading over here. Right down, right down the way there in the water. He just crossed oh. shore on this side. <clears throat> it's a smaller female. Too deep for me here. Better check my sense suppression here. And there's it's another tough. one with a totally different grizzly down on the shore back there. Now, who are you? We are in Grizzly Central here, aren't we? No kidding. Yeah, that's a big old male. He's 124 Oops. meters out. Poor Snoopy. Eyeballing me. Okay, I think I might have a problem. Yeah? There's a grizzly bear in my path to get back to the last. <laughs> Okay, she's going. Uh, get that that Basanti ready. I'm I'm coming up to where you are, and I'm upright and walking. So if he charges, he should come at me. But now that we're up in the bright sun, I'm trying to get over that track, but I can't. I think she moved on. I don't see her anymore. I'm walking up behind you. Like I say, I'm standing up walking normally so that if he focus, if he's there and he focuses in on somebody, it'll be on me. Well, it should be right around here. For the life of me, in this bright sunlight, it's hard to find now. So, well, I say my first five or six harvests with the smoke pole, they were rough. There was a lot of tracking, and I had to shoot a second time to finish the animals because it seemed like I just could not manage to to get him with one shot. Yeah. Well, I did get a bear, if nothing else. <laughs> I followed it down this way, and I'm not seeing any sign of him down here. Now, back at this distance, I can see that track by you fairly clearly. Yeah, Norm, I can barely see it on top of it. <laughs> yep, there it is. And I'm going to climb up on this rock to see if I can see anything from up here because sometimes that really does make a difference if he gets some elevation see from up here i can see that track plain as day wait a minute there's another one over here yep i don't know if that was the incoming or what it is ah uh, look look right out over there son of a gun. gun what is it i can't 127 meters out he's absolutely gorgeous and on the other side there. <sighs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, aim right at the ball of his shoulder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call. See if we can make him pause. He's standing stock still, 129 meters out, and you hit the ground next to him. Damn it. Yep. Figures. What it is so hard with the, with the first couple uh, first couple animals you take. It's awful difficult with as much as it wavers around. Have to go AFK yeah, see, this is the intermediate track. This is the track that actually led to that one that we found over there. Yeah. 
and there's blood right here. Oh, it no. does turn and go up this way. And we got another track right up here in this brush. And we got blood right here. Fleeing. Now, is this his original track again? Yeah, I think it is. Where we first pursued him. God. Yeah, I think so. Uh oh. I've got this. You want to check see what that is? Yeah, he's he's up that way. <clears throat> the one that just called. Yeah. I don't know where he went from here. This is where things got squirrely. Yep. This is his original trail again when when you very first hit him. Yeah, but there's see there's one over here that says roaming, so I'm just pretty sure he's did some kind of ninja trick or he's up in a tree like that one I picture I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> His legs wrapped around it looking down at us laughing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you, bud. Yeah, I think we're going to have to give it up. I, he just... He won that one. Yeah, because I have checked all up around in here. Hell of a grizzly right over there. It's on the other side of the river, though, so he should be all right. Big old male. Yeah. That's one good thing about grizzlies. They make bigger targets. <laughs> yep, I'd be able to take him from here without any trouble at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to have to take a note from Doc. He is just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what in the world he's done. Well, what we might want to do is actually go down to where that group of four or five of them were... And just see if you spot his track down there, because he might have hooked up with that group of deer. Might be moving with them. Do you remember where so, they are? I sure do. I sure do. Yeah, I'll go down to a crouch here. There's definitely a lot of them around here, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I guess what I see. Well, actually, this might be the track of the buck that called farther back. It's true, because I did... Well, I think... No, I that's not. Pick... That's him. I was going to say, I believe I picked his track back up. That is his track. It says roaming. Mm-hmm. I think he might have come down here and hooked up with that with that group of them. I'll just check out here to see if there, if he wandered into this part of the field from there. But so he could have been with that. Here's there it is. Head. Yep. So he. Yep. This is this is where that that herd come through, and I think he may have joined up with with that herd. So I could have gone after that herd the whole time and still been after my buck. 
<laughs> yeah. God bless it. Figures. <laughs> well, at yeah. least we found his trail again. That's the important thing. Well, I see two of his tracks over here. One there, one there. What the hell is he doing? Yeah. Which way did he go? <laughs> Let me check this one. Let me check that one. Yeah. Let's see what he's doing here. Some floating rocks. Yeah, this has got him roaming, heading up this way. And I got another of his tracks up here. Well, this has got him going up this way. Well, you follow that one, and I'll follow this one. <laughs> one of these, one of these got to eventually lead to him. I was gonna say, what did it split into two? Well, now this has got him turning and heading down into the area where they were when, uh, when I shot. I think the problem is, is that. He just wandered all over down here, and we don't know which of the tracks are fresh and which of the tracks are old. And mm -hmm. right down here is is the field where um, where I took that fella. I'm gonna trust that because that seems like that's. I think those are old tracks. Yeah. I don't think I have anything to shoot that distance. <laughs> no, but. I should be able to get them moving in this direction if everything goes well. So you come up to the spot where I am. I'm going to go down, cross the road, patch, and uh, you should have camo right here. Yeah. So come right up right here. I'm going to slip down there. I'm going to drop a patch and make a call, and we'll see if we can get this guy to cross. Did you see him or hear him? Well, I see a deer on the other side. Good now, gosh. if you'll remember how we had some tracks on the opposite side of the road, I wonder if he came down and he crossed to here. But right here should be about 40 meters. And I'm going to call and see if the one that's down there turns around and comes back. I know where he is, so I'll come back up to you and, and see there was a doe and a buck. Just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to check this track right here because this is one of his tracks. Well, that's that's that dung pile that said he had been through an hour previous. Mm. Do you show camel there? Uh, hold on. the wrong button. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I do show camo. All right. Well, he's not down there where he was, nor is the doe, so I don't know if that means they've crossed the river below the hill there or what, but we'll know soon enough. Because either they'll pop out in the woods. They were right out near render distance. So we'll see what happens. He's standing there at, at 49 for you right now. I'm just going to have it. 48, 46, 45. He's coming up on the patch now. 43, 42. Dead on 40. Boom. That's the way it's supposed to go. And he is down. Yep. It's about time. And it's the way it's supposed to go. So we may not have found your other fella, but this is a good looking deer. I gotta go get a look at him. There's. Oh. Got okay. another one across the river over there, too. I heard a call. Yep. 
and you'll never guess who that one across the river is. You're not. Please don't tell me. Because <laughs> I, I know who it is. I'm going to see if I can get eyes on him. If I can, I'm going to finish him with, with the 30 out 6. He is 123. Not bad. Left lung, right lung, Not shoulder bad blade, at all. body. Son of a gun. Because I still had his track activated. <laughs> he has been one elusive pain in the ass. That's what he's been. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. If if I if I spot him out there anywhere, even if he's 200 yards out, I'll be able to take him with with that 30 out six. I'm gonna ease my way down here because rather not see get that note from Doc. I think he's just out past render distance. Looks like he's an eight one two three eight pointer. Yeah. Nice, very nice deer. That's that yep. I consider my first good kill. Well, it was also a very good shot. Thank you. Well, trust me, you definitely helped to make it possible. Snoopy. Well. I do want to see this bastard if you get him. <laughs> Let me check my scent suppression. Well, let me tell you something. I don't know if you do or not, but it's a glowing dome for me. Nope, he doesn't show another hit. Mm. Huh. I don't yeah, know. I wasn't fooling around. Head, skull, shoulder blade, liver. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was really hoping it was your fella, so I must have I must have been activated on something else. Probably a call or something. Cause I might I, I think I might have gotten activated on the call. That he made too, because he was showing a dome for me, so. Yeah. I think he's 10 points. I can't tell. Wait a minute. No, maybe 12 points. <clears throat> Very nice. Well, if you want to step in here next to me, I'll, I'm on my right side. I think with that, I'm going to have to call it a hunt. Oh, yeah. Definitely. He's a nice deer. What'd he score at? I'll have, to, I'll have to check here. Am I okay position-wise, or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was a 164. Nice. Yep. <clears throat> well, I think that that was a squatch deer, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I can't believe how far he led us. And I think we ended up on back on. I I think we ended up on one of his old trails as opposed to a trail after he was hit. Because because if if not, I mean, there's no way he was ever going down on his own because there was never any blood. Yeah, I guess this device just is. I mean, it seems silly to have to take a note from Doc when the damn thing was never going to die in the first place, but. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> but I think you do. Well, the important thing uh, is, you did you did get a nice one yeah. with it? And given the right circumstances, you got a hell of a shot. I think about the smoke pole the same way I think about the recurve. I never take a shot farther than forty meters out. Okay, I'll keep that in mind because there's a lot of missions, or not missions, but competitions for the muzzleloader. Yeah. I've noticed. Yeah. So. 
you know, I've I've thought about the basic the basic rules I follow when when hunting with the smoke pole is number one, I never take a shot more than forty meters out. Number two, I I always take the center mass shot. You know, I'm always very careful about about uh, you know never taking a risky shot. If right. if I think there's any chance I'm not going to hit him dead on, I don't pull the trigger. And the biggest thing, of course, is you know when you are going to look through the scope. You pull the hammer back, put the the firing cap on, and then raise the weapon up. So you've got to remember that it takes a little extra time and it makes a little bit of noise. Right, right. But, well, well shall we... Take the jump? Yeah, should we jump back to the lodge where we started? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that... That went fairly well, except we ran into that squatch deer. I'm sure it's a squatch deer because we saw it. We were pretty sure it exists, but, you know, we're never quite sure. <laughs> yeah, and then at the end there, I thought I thought it was him. I thought we had him, but he showed no mark, so I guess it wasn't. But, you know, that's the thing is, is starting out with the smoke pole can be very challenging because um, it's, a, it's a very powerful firearm, but it loses power over over distance pretty quickly. And um, like I say, some basic rules of thumb, try not to take a shot that's more than 40 meters out if you can help it. And and always, you know, do that, that heart-lung region. Because if you hit them, I mean, they'll go down like a sack of potatoes. But if you, if you hit them anywhere else, there's a really good chance that they're just not going to go down. You're going to have to track them down. You're going to have to finish them because they'll never go down on their own. And that's just... Just one of the struggles with this particular firearm in the game. But that was a heck of a shot, Hawk. And and you. so you bagged your first muley with it. I felt real good about that grizzly in the beginning, too, because she went down pretty quick. Yep. You got some nice ones this time. We got yeah, did, I picked up uh, two, two muleys that were over 160, so that's not bad at all. No. You got four confirmed kills. Yep. So I think that was a very, very successful hunt, and uh, I think I had a, had a good time. Got a little frustrated, yeah. but uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I had I had fun, yeah. but we're gonna we're gonna have to do her again soon, oh, yeah. and uh, we're gonna have to edit out a lot of walking in circles. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, but I I I have a way of making that a little more humorous. So <laughs> anyway. Well, guys, I guess that's the end of this hunt, so always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. We'll see you later.